Hey guys, how's it, how's it going? <laughs> I started there. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? It's me, JD the Menace, with more Red Dead Redemption 2. So in the last episode, Arthur nearly got killed, but we were saved by Charles, as we were saving Trelawney. And then, we tried to make a peace treaty with the O'Driscolls, but as you guys saw, it was a trap. I got captured and nearly got killed, but I managed to escape and survive. So, yeah. Now, let's go ahead and do this mission for Mr. Trelawney. What's up, Trelawney? What's that? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. This ain't my horse. Where's my horse? Oh, here's my horse. Okay, so if you guys notice, Arthur has a beard now. Because, you know... Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, Am I gonna lead the way? Lead the way and we'll find out. Okay. You sure seem to have got a bow around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? <laughs> I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a That's nice very interesting. Arthur well, has a beard yeah, once again. His beard. What I notice about Arthur is his beard grows very fast. I wish I, I wish my beard could grow that fast. <laughs> but yeah, um, because I think we were in camp and resting for weeks after we got captured. So Arthur grew a beard again. This is my first time doing another mission, going out of town, going out of camp. Each to their strengths, so, yeah. Boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. I agree. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Okay. We're the expert at uh, talking your way out of trouble, I guess. Even though you got captured the last time, on the last episode. <laughs> Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, what are you trying to say that I'm ugly? Asking to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Okay. Something to do with the craze. I thought I'd nab you first. All right. You did? Okay. Thanks. Shambling around my backyard yesterday. All right, I'll stay here. You do the talking then. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented it. Okay, so he's talking to the, uh... <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The so this guy's name is Alden? The guy that takes care of the tickets on the train? are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Am I supposed to go there now? Hello, station clerk Alden. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. 
He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> All right, inspect the document. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. <laughs> I like how Arthur's like, what the hell was that? Where Alden could still hear us. He could have just said it here. Okay, you're the boss. Okay, let's go this way. We are grinding out the series so far, you know, we're currently in chapter 3, we're doing a lot of missions. I mean, actually, I'm doing 2 to 3 missions per episode, I guess, but, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm going at a solid pace, you know, not too fast, but also not too slow, because I'm playing games in the middle of this as well, mid -mid because I'm playing other games in the middle, middle of this as well. So, you know, I'm playing Red Dead, but I'm also playing PUBG and other games. I'm planning on recording an entire Resident Evil Village series. I kind of want to redo it and, you know, I haven't finished it yet, but I'll, I'm going to try and do an entire series for that. And then uh, maybe uh, The Last of Us 2 series. Dear boy? Dear boy? You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? <laughs> celebrities. Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. <laughs> We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Okay, then. Oh, here's the stagecoach, right? Is that the one? I thought that was the one. <laughs> okay, what are we supposed to do here, though? Oh, this is the spot. Hold. Okay. All right. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Oh, gave lockpick. us a lockpick. Silence won't be necessary, but you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Okay, I could probably just like we got a lockbreaker. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay. I get you, friend. You know what? I agree with Josiah. I don't wanna be a bad guy all the time in terms of just like threatening people with guns and shooting people. I would probably just try and steal this one by opening the lockbox or opening the the loot box from behind using a lockpick. Yep, I'm tailing, keeping my distance. What the hell is Josiah doing? <laughs> the stagecoach is still moving. If it stops, then I'm gonna hitch, uh, st hitch my horse here maybe. How am I supposed to do this?
Oh, it's a singer. Are they gonna stop the coach? Did they stop it? Oh, they didn't stop it. I, I think I need to sneak here. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I can sneak. I don't know. So we gotta wait for her to sneak to uh, exit the vehicle, or exit the vehicle. Uh, horsey, stay there. Stay here, chaos. So I named my horse Chaos. This is my horse in the beginning of the game, actually. One of one of the, my first horses. I didn't know that I stabled him, so I was like, you know what? Okay, she's out. This is my chance. What is going on here? <laughs> okay, the guard is over there. I'm glad there's bushes here. Don't mind me. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm nothing. There's no one here. I am just thin air. Alright. What the hell is going on here? Oh God. We're good, right? Yeah, we're good here. I'm just gonna stay here, actually. <laughs> I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough, but Mrs. Damson. So sorry, this is Damson. Farewell. Thanks for the money. Goodbye. See, that's better than threatening them. You know what I mean? See, we're good. Boy. Oh, where's Trelawney? Yep. We're good, boss man. We did it, Trelawney. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I like that actually. Instead of shooting my way out of it, you know, we didn't have to threaten anyone. You know, the only problem that they have is they don't have money, but you know, they're fine, they're healthy, they're not threatened, they're not scarred, they don't have PTSD. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't, you know, we didn't, we didn't threaten them. Jolly good. See you soon, Arthur. Are you gonna leave camp again? You just got there. I guess he's been at camp for a few weeks now. Okay. I only got silver again? Ah, okay. So it's just a timed mission. Okay. Alright. For information about coaches carrying. Okay, that's interesting. So we can do some side quests for that. And we can do a side mission for Bill now. Hello, Josiah. I'm gonna go to Bill though, relax. Wait, we can talk to him? <laughs> Let's try and talk to him. Got any more opera singers for me to run? <laughs> Alright, looks like we can't talk to him anymore. Yep. Let's go to Bill. Where is Bill? I think Bill's in Rhodes. Okay. I wonder what's gonna happen here. Bye, Trelawney. I'm gonna do a mission again. That's such a funny mission because, uh, you know, that's actually pretty smart by Trelawney, you know? Doing a finesse move instead of just shooting your way out of it. Who's talking? Who's talking? Oh, is this them? A short walk in a pretty Arthur. town. Well, All right. I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? 
We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They Sorry, I had to so pause. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> about them horses. And what about board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys fit now. This is on the level. Okay. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead ancient of trade, both sides were being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now we don't feel right. It looks sketchy. Oh my goodness. Okay. I remember this mission now. Oh god. No, Sean! You dickhead. I had a feeling it was an ambush. And it was. No, Sean. Oh, man. Why'd you have to kill Sean? Sean's... Ah, uh, man. Sean's such a nice guy, bro. I need to switch guns, maybe. Only have my revolver up. Was it you that shot Sean? Huh, you dickhead? Who's asking if Sean's dead? He literally got shot in the face. Well, if we're with a mission with Micah, it always goes wrong. Whether it's a huge shootout or us getting captured by the old Driscoll. Goodness me. All right, let me have some dead eye. No, 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 no. I mean dead eye. <laughs> Back of the gun store. What do you mean? Who else is shooting us? Oh, there's a guy over there. I didn't even see that. Sloppy? Hey Micah, let me remind you, you little shit, that I saved you in Strawberry. If it wasn't for me, you'd be hanged a long time ago now. You dumbass. Don't talk to me about Sloppy. You literally dunk your, drunk your way into trouble with Lenny. You idiot. Uh huh. Where's Bill? Why does this guy look like Bill? <laughs> no. All right, got that guy. Assuming we even get out of it. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We all. Woo! It's a job. That's what you get for Sean, buddy. Getting the job done. See that? Those Can I shoot you, Micah? Running away. <laughs> Looks like most of them. You're a dickhead. Calling me sloppy. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? Yeah, where's Bill? We'll find him later. Oh Come god. On. Sheriff Gray! We need to get a hold of this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where. Well, Sheriff Gray. We don't know what you've been doing. I am absolutely gonna murder you. We're doing this to Sean. Come on, Sheriff. Worse than you. you sure about that? Over. This is the town. Really, is it? Has been, will be. Why don't you shut the up and just come out? I see left around here is you. Go on, then. You want us to come out? Stop being a scaredy cat. Oh, I had a feeling they captured Bill. Can't do that. You 
Put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out. Oh, God. You little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Can I use dead eye now? Micah killed three people. I was about to kill the other one. Good one. But. Oh man, Sean, bro. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Well, I guess we ain't deputies anymore. <laughs> Damn. Sean, literally. That's so sad because you we just saved Sean. Brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we're making of things. Well, that was not... Ah, oh man. 20 headshots? Oh my god. Yeah, I couldn't kill the three men in Deadeye. Mike, I kept killing them. Man, that sucks. That is gruesome. Is this... What is this? That is sad because we literally just saved Sean, like... You know, a few... I don't know, I mean, it, we sh saved Sean in Chapter 2, I believe. And, you know, it wasn't... It wasn't really with us that long. If I'm being honest. Which is absolutely just... Ah, oh man. It is sad, you know. Because I think Sean's one of my favorite characters so far. You know, we did a mission with him. We burned the farm with him. You know, we burned the Grace, Grace farm. And uh, we also robbed the homestead with him. Did that mission in Chapter 2 where we robbed the train with him. And uh, John and Charles. It's sad. But, uh, well, we couldn't really save him because it was a cutscene. So, uh, yeah. It could have been any of us that the, the uh, lawman shot or the gray shot. But, uh, yeah. Mike uh, saying that Arthur's always complaining, but he's actually the bitch because we saved him. <laughs> Acting like a dickhead again, Micah. And Bill, I'm not really going to blame Bill because, you know, he didn't know anything about it. He kind of is an idiot as well, but, well, whatever. That's kind of, uh, ah, man, that kind of sucks. Now we don't have the Irishman to talk to in the camp, man. Well, I guess there's still an Irish person, Miss Molly O'Shea, but she ain't going to go gunsling. She ain't going to go robbing with us, that's for sure. <laughs> man, that is sad. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that at all. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to stop the video here, guys, because I need to do something real quick. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Rest in peace, Sean. You will be missed. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye now.